It's show and tell time. This painting normally hangs uh, on my office wall. Took it down to show you. One of my scientific heroes, William Henry Perkin, who in 1856 came up with the first ever synthetic dye called mauve, and you see him holding a piece of fabric here that was colored with this. This was really revolutionary. Before this time, if you wanted to have any kind of colored fabric, you had to find some sort of natural colorant, red from the matter root or blue from uh, indigo. But Perkin, in a futile quest to synthesize quinine in the laboratory uh, from uh, chemicals extracted from coal tar, uh, one day out of frustration threw all of his chemicals into the sink because nothing was working but they had also thrown some alcohol in there and all of a sudden he saw a brilliant color. It came to be called mauve. And uh, this started a whole synthetic dye industry. Eventually that even transformed into the pharmaceutical industry because if you could make dye synthetically, you could make other things as well. Well, now we come to my real show and tell, what I wanna show you. Some of my prized items. What I have here is a so-called Penny Royal stamp. This dates back to sometime between 1867 and 1880 or, or so. And stamps at that time were colored with Perkins Mauveen, as the active ingredient came to be called. The decade after its discovery was called the Mauve Decade. Well, this poster stamp is interesting, but it's not particularly valuable, but I do have something that I want to share with you, which is one of my prized possessions. In uh, 1905, Perkin came to the U.S. to be a recipient of the first ever Perkin Medal. And at that time, he gave a talk in New York, and there were some professors from Columbia University present, and one of them got a sample from Perkin of his original mauve with a little piece of silk that had been colored with the mauve. Well, luckily, I had uh, a chance to, to uh, in a roundabout way, come across some of this. Basically, there was a little bit of snitching involved, but I'm not gonna tell you how that happened. But what I have here is really one of my prized possessions. This is a little sample here of Perkins' original mauve that he made, the, the powder. And I took some of it and I actually dissolved it in a little bit of alcohol and water and there it is. This is the original mauve color made from a sample of that original material dating back to 1856. And I even have a sample of silk that was colored with the original mauve. Now you can understand why these are some of my most prized possessions because of the historical value of uh, William Henry Perkins' uh, uh, basically contribution to chemistry. And now you can understand why I enjoy so much every morning when I come into the office and look at my uh, portrait of Perkin and him holding that piece of silk. And uh, the little piece I have may well have come from the piece that he is holding. And that for today is our show and tell.